Okay, I was just listening to the YouTube, and it's chilly out this morning. I'm having some soup, which is nice for a change. I usually don't eat breakfast at all, but this morning um, I have the back open as usual because I love to have this fresh in the morning. Got the heater going over here. Mr. Max is wrapped up because he's chilly. Chilly Willie's sitting there. Hey. But anyway, I was listening to uh, Joe this morning, Morning Joe. Now, when I lived in Florida, I li listened to him every morning. I love that show. Um, but today he had this pastor on. He's a Southern Baptist. He had this pastor on. And, the, you know, the pastor was doing well until we got to the point of, you know, he says we should be the salt and the light, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. We should be the salt, you know, and the light, you know, bring the light and the good news, what they say, the good news, and be the salt, you know, give, give something that makes it better, makes things better. Salt just enlivens things, okay? Takes the blandness out, gives you something. But then he's going, you know, we should all come together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'm going, wait a minute. It's only Christians that should come together? You only embrace those that are Christians? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not that Christians shouldn't come together. Absolutely, all Christians should come together. But sh so should they embrace Hindus, Buddhists, naturists. I don't care what religious persuasion you are. We are all brothers and sisters in spirit. You should be. We come together as brothers and sisters in spirit, okay? Because I don't give a rat's ass what religion you are. Everybody has the same divine spark of God within them. There's only one. Well, there's not even one. It's the zero, but that's another thing entirely. But... <laughs> There aren't numerous, numerous gods. There's a projection where, you know, this will project out and wear different faces, different things for different communities, different cultures. Okay? But it all comes down to the same thing. Love, light, respect for the earth, respect for everyone else. But then they've made it such a divisionary thing. So where is this, you know, come together as brothers and sisters in Christ? Okay. Now, again, the Bible doesn't say, you know, that I, I, I'm judging you on whether you're a Christian or not. Okay. It says, I judge the hearts and the minds. Hearts and minds have nothing to do with one religion or another. It comes down to what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Okay. Are you respecting God? Okay. Are you respecting your brothers and sisters? Are you respecting Gaia? Are you respecting Mother Earth? Okay. So... You know, again, when you really get to God essence, God essence is not up there. It's not wearing a brown face. It's not wearing a white face. It's not wearing a red face. Not wearing a yellow face. Not wearing a black face. It doesn't matter. Spirit has no color. Okay? <laughs> Spirit is the same no matter what color it winds up projecting into and playing that role for that time. Okay, so this idea is of being, well, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. That caught, it gave me pause. Okay. Now, God cannot be held by any religious persuasion. 
That's made by men for the benefit of men. Okay? God is happy to be projected in any of these classifications. Okay? So I just wanted to, you know, that really, when I heard that, it just jarred me this morning. Brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm like, now don't get me wrong. You know, 100% Christ came to show the way, okay? The way and the life and the light, okay? But there are other ways also to get to God, okay? And Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you are a, a follower of Christ, you should follow what he was saying, okay? Follow him, okay? Walk the path, okay? Not just say, I believe, I believe, okay? I've been baptized, I'm good, doesn't matter what I do, I'm forgiven, okay? Because I've been washed in the blood, so I'm forgiven now. Well, yeah, no. You know, it says if you do something wrong, you should repent. And that means you don't do it again, okay? You don't do it again. You clean up your act. But I see so many Christians that could continue to go out there and do things they know is wrong and say, well, I'm saved, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm a Christian. I'm good. I'm going to heaven no matter what I do. Because I'm forgiven. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Not if you are, you know, uh, continuing to do wrong. Okay? Continuing to do wrong and just say, I'm good. That, it doesn't work that way. No. So, clean up the act and go forward. Okay? So I just wanted to put that out there because it just, today when he said that, it just really hit me the wrong way. That was like, you know, that's one step removed from the evil evangelicals, evil angels that say, you know, uh, that this, this country has to be only Christian. We don't allow anything else. You know, it's that same thing that they want to try to make it, you know, restricted. Um, and that's when you have a lot of difficulties. It's the same thing with nationalism. When they start putting out all the flags, it's not comforting to me. It's saying, we're dividing. We're this and you're that, okay? Where's a flag for the world? We're all one community. We're all one brother and sister. We are all one in this together. Okay? Rather than dividing and dividing and dividing, why are we not coming together? Okay? As humanity. Okay? We are all humanity. You know, and it doesn't matter what religious persuasion you are. If you are a person of faith, and I'm not talking about radicalized faith, you know, like you've got Muslims that are radicalized, and we've got Christians, evangelicals, which are radicalized. I'm not talking about radicalized element. I'm talking about ones that are, you know, that they're grounded, they're centered, they're you know, not just picking these one little things out and then running with it, taking things out of context, becoming, again, what, what Christ came to talk against, which was that letter of the law, okay? The letter of the law came to bring the spirit, the spirit, the higher things of what it, what it is. 
And every religious persuasion, you can have a letter of the law or you can have the spirit of it. You can have the spirit of it. And the spirit is always higher than this letter legalization that men try to put in. I want to have boundaries so that I can know and then I can try to jockey those boundaries and try to find loopholes and try to, you know, um, rather than just going with the pure simplicity and beauty of it. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light. It'll be interesting to see your take on it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you online and get back to my, uh, it should be cool enough I can actually eat it now. <laughs>